Really, because it's not noticeable. You know, everybody to know where alligator is on the map. Alligator is here. You know, I want everybody to know that. You know, we we're here and we we're living and you know, bring some here to, to show the world that bring people here. If we have something here in a nice, clean environment, people would love to move to alligator. Leave the violence, <laughs> leave the drugs. But you know, it's it's a nice place to live in. And it's a nice, quiet, peaceful place. And if we just get our youth on the right track, this is going to be the place to live at. Right here in our so I've been out here, I mingle with the people, and I know how they feel, and I know what they're going through. So you just can't base decisions on what should be what should happen and what should go on if you really don't know what the problem is. Yeah. How much of an inspiration was Obama when he was elected? Ooh, was he an inspiration, man? He shocked the world. And, you know, that was enough that, you know, for anybody can try that. That let, let you know, gave you the motivation to try anything, you know what I'm saying? Because America is just not for, you know, certain people. So I understand that now. And a lot of other people understand that because the truth, I never thought in my lifetime that I would see an African American in the White House. You know, and a lot of other people feel the same way I feel. So you know that was inspiring. Yeah. Okay. Did you ever think so to be an African American mayor of Alligator? No, I never expected that either. <laughs> but you know, everything's happened. You know, we wake up tomorrow and, and see a better day. Or, you know, you never know what might happen. So, Alligator. It's where I live. Alligator is where I'm going to die. Every, every now and then it goes up and this goes down because, and I say a lot of that is it, it's a youth because they don't have anything to alter their minds. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you give them the streets and give them nothing to occupy their minds, what it, what it leads to? Crime? Drugs? So if you don't have anything to occupy, that's, that's the purpose that I, I'm looking out on my youth because if we don't do something soon, Alligator were down because you, these people have nothing to do here. So I want to build build my community, and I see I can I can help the community because I have hands on of the problems that's going on around here. And I'm going I'm going to push it myself and self motivate myself because you know it helps me too with walks in the park, um, volunteer cleanup crews, and everything to keep these people minds involved, and it helps the community at the same time. What are the relations be like between black people and white people here? Has there been tensions at times? Of course it has. You know, because there's a lot of things that went on that goes on around here that I know of. If I have a town meeting, I'm gonna have an open house. Anything comes up for grabs or anything that'll help the public, you know, I'm gonna spread it out. I want everybody to know about it. There's a lot of people that's growing and and it's it's nothing happening. You know what I'm saying? Certain people, and it's been like that a lot of time. And when you say certain people, you're talking mainly white people. Well, I just say certain people. again. 